Hello friends, schoolstubs.in welcomes you again. In this tutorial, we'll discuss how to run a sample application. Let's do it. Open Android Studio and on the welcome screen, click on import an Android code sample. If you have opted not to show the welcome screen, then click on the file menu and you will get the option to import the Android code sample. Click here and you will get this window. In this window, you need to type variable and you will get the variable right here. Under the variable, you need to choose any of the projects. Let's choose find my phone and click on next and click on finish. It will download the project from github.com. Next, it will run the Gradle script and the project will be ready for you. Next, it will prompt you for the language level changed. Click on yes. And the project is ready for you. From the left hand side, you can expand the application to see the code corresponding to the mobile module. And in the similar way, you can expand the variable to see the code corresponding to the VR module. Click on run. Choose run from here. Right here, choose application. From the activity, choose do not launch activity. This dialog box is coming because the mobile module doesn't contain the main activity. Click on run. Next, choose your cell phone device from this dialog box. Click on OK. It will install the mobile module on your cell phone. Now click on the run again. Choose run. Choose variable. Choose your emulator from the dialog box. I have already started the emulator. So it's appearing here. Click OK. It will install the application on the emulator. Now let's open the command prompt, go to the platform hyphen tools folder and run this command so that we could connect our cell phone with the emulator. Let's see the results now. Friends on the screen, you can see my cell phone and in the background there is the emulator. You can see that my cell phone is connected to the emulator. Wear module is installed on the emulator and the mobile module is installed on the cell phone device. Now let's disconnect the cell phone from the emulator. Click on disconnect emulator. As soon as your phone gets disconnected from the emulator, you will get a notification on the emulator mentioning that you may have left your phone behind. So if you forget your phone somewhere and you move out of the Bluetooth range, your Android Wear will be disconnected from your cell phone. And as soon as it gets disconnected, it will give you a reminder notification. Now let's connect it back, assuming that you are back in the Bluetooth range and Android Wear has connected back to the handheld through the Bluetooth. Let me dismiss this reminder and let's connect to the emulator again. Now this is the situation when we are back in the Bluetooth range. Now let me open the application on the emulator. Click here on the find my phone. Now let's assume that your Android Wear is again connected to your cell phone, but you are still not able to find out your cell phone. So here on the Wear application, you have option to tap to sound an alarm on your cell phone. Click here. You can tap again to stop the alarm. Friends, with this, I take your leave. Thank you so much. Please like our page on facebook.com slash let's android. If you have any query, do write us at info at schoolsteps.in or schoolstepsin at gmail.com. Thank you.